Oh, good evening, everybody. It is Monday night, March the 14th. NCAA tournament basketball is less than 24 hours away when the first four revs up in Dayton. And we are starting NCAA tournament week with a bang. I'm John Fanta. We've got Ashton Gibbs. We've got Randolph Childress. And we welcome him in now straight from the heart of Texas. It is Chris Beard, the head coach of the Longhorns. They're the sixth seed. In the East region, they will be taking on Virginia Tech on Friday at 4.30 Eastern time in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And Coach Beard, it's not Miller time in Milwaukee. It's spotted cow time when you get to Milwaukee. That is the drink of choice once you get to Wisconsin. It's great to have you with us tonight on After Dark. This is big, guys, to be on the field of 68 on Monday night, man. I mean, I've been fortunate enough to coach on Monday night. Now I got this on Monday night. It's like bucket list, man. Well, we love having you. And and Chris, when you look at your team and this week, you know what it takes to get deep on the dance floor. So throughout this day, what's the messaging to your group as they begin preparation for Virginia Tech? Yeah, a couple things. One, you know, with the NCAA tournament, we've talked all year long about trying to play our best when it matters most. And just reminding the guys that we've shown uh, that we can play with anybody in the country. Now it's time to put a full 40 minutes on the floor. And uh, so consistency is a lot of the, of the thing we're talking about, our guys internal. In terms of um, Virginia Tech, or just, you know, respect levels off the charts. Uh, coaches, uh, one of the best in our business. Um, they're obviously one of the hottest teams in the country, if not the hottest. They've won like, what, 13 of their last 15 and just won the ACC tournament. So, um in my opinion, we'll have to play our best game of the year, um, but that's no different than most people. You know, I think when you get to the NCAA tournament, you have to play your best game of the year. Coach, you guys have one of eight teams in a tournament that are top, your top 40 offensive efficiency, top 20 defensive efficiency, but you're, you've dropped your last three coming into the tournament. What side of the ball has disappointed you the most that you feel like you got to tighten up on as you get ready for the tournament run? You know, I don't know about disappointment. Uh, you, know, you look at our schedule, Allen Fieldhouse on senior night. It's uh, tough. You know, Big 12 uh, defending national championships, Baylor. We had those guys at home. So, um, you know, I, I think probably more important than what that scoreboard shows is how we're playing this time of year. Mm-hmm. And we have a lot of internal optimism right now. We're playing some of our best basketball, you know, now that we're in March. Um, I think in terms of, you know, both sides of the ball, I've always been a big believer that, you know, both sides have got to help, you know, like I, I'm a big college football guy. I love football. I study it. You know, it's, it's hard to have the best defense when your offense can't move the, the sticks a little bit, you know, and, um, and it's, I think basketball is the same way, you know, you're going to have a great defense, you got to have a good offense, takes care of the ball and gets good shots and, and vice versa. I think if you're going to have a good offense, you got to get some stops, you know, and, and, and get a rebound every once in a while and not be pulling it out of the net the whole game. So um, I think for us, it's really both sides of the ball trying to play our best. And then, you know, special teams, which we call it, you know, whether it's an out of bounds play or a transition or an ATO or the last couple minutes a half, these these special situations in NCAA tournament games, I think, are big because most of these games, as we all know, they come down to one or two possessions. And if you can steal a couple possessions in those special team type areas that we call it, I think those are big. Coach, what's going on? Uh, You you have a few transfers on your team, obviously playing well. how was the transition working those guys in um, since everybody was coming from different programs? Yeah, it's been uh, nothing new to me. You know, I don't know life any different. My background in junior college and small college and even professional basketball where our rosters change even from semester to semester, you know, like um, if I get two guys back, you know, I, I consider that's an experienced team coming back. So um, I know the narrative this year with the portal and the transfers is kind of a popular thing, but for me personally, I've never known any different, you know. Um, our guys have done a great job. You know, the challenge in trying to win with a first-year team is really you're fighting time more than anything. You're playing against teams that have been together. Our first-round game against Virginia Tech's a great example. Uh, the majority of that team was together last year. They played Florida in the tournament last year in an overtime game. Um, the majority of our team was not together last year. So the thing we've been fighting all year is just chemistry, time, getting together. Um, but we like our chances. We think we're right where we need to be heading into the tournament. And um, we're going to have to play great. Uh, but I think everybody has to play great. What's that key ingredient, that key thing that determines if your team is great? 
Yeah, I think for us, it's a couple things. Uh, you know, the rebounding battle is always important to us. Um, the turnover margin, you know, taking care of the basketball, getting great shots. And then something I'm really a big believer in, we talk a lot about this in Big 12 play and the NCAA tournament's no different. I think you've got to have several guys step up. You know, it's captain obvious, but you look at these box scores, you know, you got to have three or four guys fill up that stat sheet. And as you start advancing in the tournament, uh, certainly when you get to second weekend and start thinking about getting to New Orleans, I mean, you got to have some games where you look at that stat sheet. Everybody played well and you had four special performances. Um, when we can get that four to five guys and double figure scoring, when we can get those three to four guys and, and 10 rebound um, neighborhood, we're pretty good. Uh, I think we can play with anybody in the country if we can get everybody to show up. Now, it's really easy to sit around here and talk about it. Um, it's a little more difficult to go out there and do it. Uh, but that's our objective, to get multiple people playing their best game um, when we hit tournament time. Chris, you could do it with Randolph and Ashton. They're, they're more than ready to get in. Uh, I'm happy to hand you a Miller Lite after an NCAA tournament win. That would be more the role here. Well, you know, you know what the story is. It's the T-shirt for me, man. Oh, yeah, I got Tupac tonight. I love it. <laughs> wow. You know, so uh, watching you guys when the Miller Night time, I was jealous. We uh, we have sacrifices. We give sacrifices every year. It's a thing that we basically got from what LeBron gives up social media in the playoffs and Tom Brady. I think he quit drinking beer one year. So we heard that. And I had this great idea that we were going to do it. So um, my sacrifice this year actually is beer. And so um, – you know, don't mm. get me wrong. I want to win as many games as we can, but <laughs> there's going to be a minor victory when I ride in because it's going to be, you know, the first year in a while. So, um, now, is, is that you or is that everyone on the team and staff included? Everybody has a different um, sacrifice. sacrifice. So mine this year is fried food, um, which is a problem too, man, because one of the all-time, you know, chicken strips, that whole deal is on the bus all the time. And I never thought I would crave, you know, Chick-fil-A nuggets <laughs> so much. I'm like, I'm literally like, you know, like, shaking and stuff when the guys walk by with nuggets so um yeah hopefully we can make a run here that nobody's really predicting play on Monday night in New Orleans and then after the game I want to have a, a, a chicken sandwich and a beer why should America believe you know what 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 is it that should have America believing that the Texas Longhorns can put that run together yeah I think well first of all I think we've played half the bracket you know Gonzaga Tennessee Seton Hall and all the people in our league Obviously, Kansas and Baylor and Texas Tech are in a different neighborhood this year from most in terms of, like, having a real chance. But we have played and beaten uh, some of those teams. We can play with those guys. So, again, it's going to take our best game. Uh, but they don't hand the trophy out to the best team. They hand the trophy out to the team that wins six games in three weekends. And we think in a 40-minute game, uh, we can play with anybody in the country. First game, to me, is always the toughest in any tournament, period. Uh, Virginia Tech is just off the charts. Um, I think they're one of the best teams in the country right now, especially the way they're playing as of late. Uh, we'll have to play dynamite to get out of the first round. But I think if, if we can get that done, I think, you know, I think there's a case for Texas. Why not Texas? we got good players. We've got some experience playing in this tournament. Um, you know, it's going to be very difficult, but anything great is difficult. Well, Chris Beard, we wish you the best of luck against Virginia Tech on Friday. And all those Longhorns fans are hoping that your cooler in the backyard isn't opened up until, what, Tuesday, April the 7th? How's that sound? <laughs> Sounds great. And, and whoever made the decision for Goodman not to be on here tonight, thank you. you know, I, that's, I, 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 I enjoyed, you know, talking basketball tonight with somebody besides Goodman. Hey, a lot of respect for what you guys are doing, man. You made our game better. Everybody's digging it. Anybody that says they're not watching the field of 68 isn't telling you the truth. Um, I mean, it's just been awesome this year, which you guys have established. Um, I can't believe it took me so long to get on. You know, I, I told the guys we we have to make the tournament so I can get on field of 68. So, um, But, hey, thanks for everything you all are doing for the game, man. It's been awesome this year.